several coaches who have been mentioned for the old Miss job. I, I was started on that when we lost when they lost uh, uh, Matt for a minute. Uh, Matt, uh, Matt Luke, uh, who's the coach now, they always say the coach that gets the job doesn't keep it very long. Was the interim will be the interim coach. A lot of talk about Les Miles. Uh, Les Miles, in my opinion, is sort of a guy who just oversees the program. I don't think Les Miles does a lot of coaching. I think he oversees the program. The defensive coordinator and the defensive staff do their thing. The offensive coordinator and the offensive coordinator do their thing. He probably sits in on the meetings. But as far as getting on the field and doing a lot of coaching, being on both ends of the field and, and coaching, I don't really think he does. Uh, I, that's just my opinion. That, that's that's a fine way to do it. I, I uh, also, I don't know. If I should say this, but I will. Got some interesting vibes from Tommy Tuberville. Uh, a little bit on our show, and a little bit more on another show. And it seemed to me like that that you know he was calling for the whole dismissal of ads and all. I have a feeling. <laughs> In the back of my mind, that Tommy would sort of like to be the AD at Ole Miss. Now I don't know that. Uh, that, that I don't mean to start a rumor, but uh, in the questions, the the questions that he answered by the people, it just made me feel like he'd like to go back and oversee it. You know, by saying the whole group needs to go. So. Uh, well, it's, it's interesting to see what happens there because he was very successful at Ole Miss. Now, I, I, I got to follow up on that, Coach. What would make <laughs> him want to have that AD position over in Oxford? Well, sort of a sort of a deal where he's going to kind of be over something but not have to coach and uh, hire the head coach, hire the assistants, uh, start the thing over, uh, bringing back a guy who was uh, successful there before he went to Auburn. Uh, I read people pretty good, uh, and I read that. I may be wrong, but I read it. So we'll wait and see what happens well, there. I, I want to follow up on that uh, on Ross Bjork as well at Ole Miss because I think with as much uh, public defending, public um, advocating as Ross Bjork, and really that entire administration over at Ole Miss has done for Hugh Freeze prior to last week, how much of a hot seat is both re- really whether it's the chancellor, the president, and especially the AD? How hot are their seats, um, considering what all has happened with Hugh Freeze? I don't think the chancellor is hot water at all. I think the athletic director could be in some cases. I don't know what the feeling is about the two people that really got him the job. Uh, Archie Manning put a lot of money into that, and so did uh, Sean Tuey. Uh, who had the had the movie and so forth made millions of dollars? They pushed that thing through with money to get to get him the job. I don't know their feelings right now that it's happened. Whether they they feel like that, uh, uh, you know, the phone calls that were made were not justifiable to to fire him or not. Uh, so I don't know the answer to that. But I do think maybe for just see sort of what happens, the athletic director could be in a situation for not overseeing the thing a little bit better than he did. So I don't know. But uh, that's a good question, and I don't know the answer because I, I felt in the back of my mind the AD was going to get some heat. I don't feel like a chancellor is. Um, so, what so, do, anyway. so, so, what do you do, so what do you do now if you're Ole Miss as far as trying to recruit players? Because, I mean, it's almost with um, – your permanent head coach gone, you would think probably somebody that's a caretaker for this year and who knows who they're going to get um, for 2018 and beyond. Uh, how do you recruit to Ole Miss in that type of situation? Well, I think you, I think it's hard. Uh, I think it's very difficult because I'm going to go in there for Mississippi State and, and, and kind of muddy it up. Uh, people are going to go in behind you. If I'm at Alabama, I'm going to go in and muddy it up. I think it's hard. I think it's a good question. They don't really have they don't really have uh, much to say, but they're just going to go right on and say we're going to do a good job. They can win some games. They're going to win more games than people think. Um, they're going to beat. They, they've got a good chance to beat South Alabama in that first game. They've got a pretty good football team. They've got a good quarterback, and I, they, the guy that they hired uh, is a worker. So we'll wait. 